Hi gang, welcome back. We're filming two videos today, which is exciting. One, detailing my online coaching opportunities for future clients. And then two, we're gonna talk a little bit about pain associated to the herniated disc or what you could or could or could not be currently experiencing. Obviously my brain is very fresh as I've just re-herniated my disc not too long ago. So I wanna go ahead and talk about some of the symptoms that you might may or may not be feeling. Um, in my situation, I did not have an acute injury this time. Acute meaning there wasn't uh, a specific um, thing that happened that uh, I guess correlated all the pain that I was and am currently experiencing. Um, that does happen to people. Could be car accidents, could be weight training. You might feel a pop. I've felt that before, deadlifting and squatting. Um, that was not a situation that happened this time. But in terms of some of the symptoms, if you were experiencing numbness or a burning sensation or anything running through either of your legs, very likely that you are experiencing a herniated disc. In my situation, I had uh, pain that ran through my left side, into my glutes, into my hamstrings, down to my calf, and then numbness sensation in my pinky toe. So typically that is something that's directly associated to um, an L5S1 disc herniation and that was confirmed via MRI not too long ago. Now those are the initial symptoms. So what happens now? So you're feeling that it's knocked you on your ass. Obviously if you are really experiencing those symptoms you're gonna, re you're gonna very quickly realize that normal day tasks and activities are probably gonna be very very difficult for you. So initially I would say you know that's where rest comes in super uh, important for said person experiencing those things. Not crazy amount of rest, maybe a week, maybe less, depending on how the pain uh, is. For me, I definitely did. I needed a week. And then I started to slowly integrate um, my program, which if you're curious, I have exercise listed in my uh, previous videos, which you can do. Um, whether it's Mil McGill Big Three, walking, obviously a lot of this is gonna be individualized towards the person. But the goal here that we're trying to do is we're trying to get those symptoms out of the leg and back into the lower back. So if I was to take this in stages, reduce the numbness. Stage two, get it out of your calf. Get it out of your hamstring. Get it out of your glute. And then localize that pain to your lower back. That's a very good step in the right direction because you're getting rid of all the inflammation that's pressing on the nerve root. And obviously, as you continue to progress in your individualized training program, and if you don't have one, obviously, that's when working with a coach a la the dragon could help you to expedite that process. Um, and that's usually how it works in terms of uh, pain correlation. Now, there's additional factors like nutrition, sleep, hydration levels, supplements, all of those things that are going to I guess, gets you back into a position where you feel like you're your normal self. Um, you know, if you go see a medical professional, they're gonna tell you that if you wanna heal this disc naturally, you're looking from anywhere from a year to 18 months. So for me, yikes, that's a lot of time I could be continuing to build muscle and hopefully get a pro card. So, or just in general, be able to pick up your child, um, do household tasks, the normal things that make you happy. Pain-free is something that people feel like it's a pipe dream as it applies to herniated discs. They think it's once this happens, you're screwed for life. I disagree, obviously, because I was pain-free for up to eight years. So if you feel like you're lost in the process, my biggest, uh, I guess my biggest advice is study up on the process of how to heal. And if you're looking for further assistance, that's when working with somebody that has been through it before, um, and be able to rebound successfully and then hit numbers that they've never hit before. I don't typically train exactly for strength, but I can tell you that all my numbers post herniated disc were at the highest level possible. And they're not little numbers either. We're talking 600 plus deadlift. We're talking 400 plus bench press. Um, squats was easily in the 500s. And I have all these things on camera as well. So that is my spiel. The pain is horrific and it's going to test your mental capacity. Um, I hope that you have a great support system around you to help you get through these troubles. And if you don't, that's when reaching out to um, a professional who's been there before can, like I said, expedite that process. 
So as always, this is a forum for uh, people to discuss what's going on. If you feel like you, know, you just want to vent, feel free to put that on the channel as well. I think the more people talking about this, the more people that uh, are discussing what they're going through, it's going to get them to understand that you're not alone in this process. You can get through this process, and there's a lot of tips and tricks that will get you to the end game of being the best that you can be. Like I said, it's not as simple as just fixing your back. Maybe your nutrition's not where it needs to be. Are you getting a gram of protein with every meat, a gram of protein per your body weight per day? If not, I would recommend a nutrition plan. Are you doing things that's exacerbating the injury? Spinal hygiene. Again, these are all things that I would recommend um, as a discussion piece for the conversation. And we'll go from there. Dragon. Ouch.